Hello everybody, it's John from Hillbilly Wine 101 and tonight I am in the Middle East on assignment tasting wine. If you hear gunfire, if you hear explosions of bombs, please do not be alarmed. Uh, those of you that know me on Hillbilly Wine 101 know my background, so uh, you will not fear any type of explosive weapons, okay? Be that as may, tonight I'm doing wine. I received a bottle of this barrel house. I don't know much about it, I thought I'd do a review real quick. Um, I opened it and poured it, that's it, because I don't have any room to, so, anyway. Um, it's in kind of an old looking uh, brown label with barrel house in black and a little red thing here. Um, it's 13.2% ABV. This was $11.69. Um, it just says red blend 2015. I don't know the blend. Um, it is from California and it is aged in oak barrels for three months. That's a big craze right now. I don't know if it's going to last. They stole a page out of Whiskey's book. Whiskey's, uh, especially a lot of um, scotches, would age their uh, whiskey in wine barrels. So now wine is aging their uh, wines in whiskey barrels and a lot of them are doing bourbon. I don't know if the trend's going to last, uh, but right now it's very popular and very hot. I don't see why it wouldn't last. I mean, whiskey does it and been doing it for years and years and years. So uh, so here it is. Uh, it's nighttime here in the uh, Middle East, undisclosed location that I'm at. Got a camouflage white shirt with uh, flamingos on it. Hmm. It's an odd smell. <clears throat> it smells like a bowl of fresh, dark cherries. Nothing imitation, just delicious, fresh, dark cherry. And I don't say this much, but this actually smells like cassis. And uh, a lot of people I don't say because a lot of people don't know what cassis smells like. But uh, if you ever get a wine tasting kit, they have these little bottles and you can, uh, they have all the different uh, flavors and scents and you can put like a drop in so many ounces of water and sniff it and taste it. And that's how you get familiar with a lot of um, flavors and smells and I, I did that and I've had different kits over the years um, but that's if you know what cassis smells like mm. and really that's only it's just very fruity man uh, and I'm trying to I, I, you know I, I live in the Napa Valley of bourbon folks I live in Kentucky and I know a lot about bourbon and, and I've done some work for them but I'm not smelling you know, that might be the, the odd smell I smell in here might be the, the bourbon, but it doesn't smell like bourbon, but it might have added a flavor with everything else. It's just kind of hard to put my finger on. Let me give it a taste. It smells good. It smells really good. It tastes sweet. Sweet for a red wine. Ah, uh, that's 13, you know over 13 percent ABV. Um, it's a little thin, uh, doesn't have a big mouth feel, in other words it t it's like water as opposed to like uh, orange juice or tomato juice, you know, it's, it's thin on the mouth. Um, somebody was just shot, folks. It tastes exactly like dark cherries. <laughs> it, sees, it really does. It's really fruity with kind of an odd background. I guess it's the wood and the bourbon but it's not pronounced it's just adding annoyance in there that I can't quite put my finger on so I'm going to say it is uh, very light very very fruity um, definitely a sipper I think it would be overpowered uh, there's not much tan and there's not much acid really that I'm tasting just uh, kind of a fruity um, light wine kind of like a Pinot Noir uh, kind of like a Pinot Noir so anyway from Hillbilly Wine 101 um, not bad for a light red that you can sip on. Cheers.